Greetings in the name of, of the Most High. Yeah, this, um, there's an awful lot of, uh, you know, I've, I've determined that the problem, i.e. the Lizard Index and that whole thing that we are going through, um, is coming from some sort of beam weapon. Now, I know that sounds kind of radical, but someone suggested that and it, it just immediately struck me because it's happening across the board. You know, people you may not know, lots of people having the same, same vision, same things, same anxieties. And, and, you know, I've realized what they can beam at us is they can really trigger us in a lot of ways and they can really watch us, you know, through our walls, through our houses, um, you know, and, and, they are, and they are doing it. So my way of thinking, this is, um, you know, definitely something to pray down. We pray Jesus constantly, but we're in this sort of realm of attack, you know, this realm of, um, uh, mass attack, mass beaming, mass mind control, psychotronic weapons. And I, and I just, you know, it's, 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 it's to keep your own, you know, I, and mass confusion, in other words, giving like this signal of confusion that's sort of hitting everybody. Um, people feeling sick, people feeling, um, you know, desperate, people feeling afraid, people feeling, um, uh, you know, old triggered feelings, um, you know, old sin patterns, all that stuff. Uh, like, like almost as if it's just, it, this, it, it's some kind of a cocktail that's been beamed to, to try to, um, uh, you know, make people stumble, make people fall, make people dependent, whatever it is, it's totally evil. And, it, you know, it, like I said yesterday, it's war constantly. I mean, there's no time to cry. There's no time to, um, I don't think a lot of people really understand. Find something that makes you feel good, like say nature, or, uh, you know, I talked to someone yesterday who was surfing, you know, something that, you know, can please you, that can break you out of it, you know. But I don't know what you do. All I know is to pray Jesus, do good things for yourselves, try to do, um, you know, extra things that you know work. Try to be extra vigilant on that. Of course, vigilance is, is really important because this beam is like a chaos beam. It's trying to get us to do everything, trying to get us to devolve into total chaos. You know, whether you want to kill somebody, lust after somebody, become confused, hate yourself, you know, whatever these triggers are, it seems to be massively doing that. And then there are certain visions, like, for example, the uh, Ouija board in the spirit and forcing you to look at it. I've had, uh, what, three people now saying this is uh, happening to them. Um, that's not a coincidence. I'm sorry, but that is some kind of a, there's a, uh, you know, they're not humans behind this. This is serious. Uh, the veil is really thinning, you know, and we're just about touching the the realm of the occult or touching the realm of the supernatural and the witches are really trying to bring it in bring it in permanently and have us all become slaves to it because they themselves have absolutely no integrity in any way shape or form whatsoever which is why the bible said thou shalt not suffer a witch to live um pretty good advice you know and the way we deal with that now is we bind them in the name of jesus christ i bind all witchcraft i pray the blood of jesus on this anyone who sees this is broken free of witchcraft broken free of any attacks broken free of psychotronic attacks witchcraft which is the same as witchcraft attacks all the high technology witchcraft that this is broken sent back times a million to whoever sent it that they may be bound tied gagged whatever stripped of all clarity of thought so that they um, cease and desist, so our people walk free. And in Jesus, shalom, shalom. I'll see you. Um, actually, i got to get this thing. I'll see you next time.